Hey, this is Sarah with The Rational Dog, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the differences, big differences, between um, raising and training a puppy um, as opposed to living with and training an older dog. Um, puppies are on my mind a lot lately because on Christmas Day I found our new puppy, Noelle, um, and so I am getting to go through the raising and training process with my own puppy right now. <laughs> so, um, with that being said, today we're going to talk about one key difference between puppies and older dogs, one that um, a lot of people find frustrating, especially if you have an older dog already or if you um, you just lost your older dog and got a puppy um, added to your home or um, you're just used to working with older dogs. One of the, the big differences between the two of them is a puppy's attention span. Um, definitely finding this with my own puppy and with the puppies that I work with. Um, a puppy's attention span time is usually measured in, you know, less than 10 minutes. Um, if you're lucky, you can make it to 10 minutes, but generally be thinking for a training session to last between three to five minutes. Um, short, sweet, lots of fun, lots of toys, lots of treats. Um, but once your puppy starts to lose interest, um, they start sniffing around, they start biting, they start, you know, running off to play, you've lost them and you're not going to get them back. Just like, um, with a toddler at preschool, um, sitting down, having a child do worksheets when they're just not developmentally ready for that yet, um, you're going to get a lot more behavioral problems and a lot more resistance. So... Um, the trick to that with puppies is, like I said, keep your training sessions really short, really exciting, really fast, um, and do them multiple times throughout the day. So any behaviors that you're working on with your puppy, whether it's going into their crate, going to their bed, uh, starting to do tricks like high five and shake, um, sit down, touch, any of those, um, like I said, keep it short and sweet and make it super fun for them. And if you do, you know, four or five, three minute training sessions throughout the day, you've, you've got it. Um, and you'll find that after you do those short, sweet training sessions, your puppy's brain is going to be very tired and they'll hopefully take a good nap for you too. Um, but just remember as, you know, as we're talking about puppies here on this page and as you're raising your puppy, um, puppies are still babies. So um, we need to have that patience with them and not expect them to have the maturity and the skills that an older dog has. Um, even a, um, an untrained older dog has a lot of things that a puppy doesn't have yet. Um, an attention span is a big one. So there you go. That's my tip for the day um, to do with puppies. So again, this is Sarah. And you can visit me at therationaldog.com for uh, more tips and tricks.